right, Greg. We're due in court on the seventeenth of November. Welcome back, everyone, to How Not to Travel America, a comically haphazard yet uniquely uplifting adventure in which two bumbling Brits attempt to charm their way from Boston to Miami in 30 days using as many different modes of transport as they can get their hands on. You rejoin us somewhere in the far eastern reaches of Long Island, having sailed away from our intended target of New York in our newly purchased tin can of a boat which has broken down three times already. After another free but terrible night's sleep in a nearby campsite, it was back to the cowfish restaurant to see if Captain Jack Sparrow's knots had held out. Here we are. Could have slept in there, mate. Is the boat still here? What? Yes, it is. It is. It's still hanging on. However, we're not setting off right away. What have we got to do? We've got to go and get a get serious a chart, chart map. Yeah, yeah. We're also going to try and get a bit of advice from someone to see yeah. if our engine has any hope of surviving the day. Yeah. And we set off and make some real distance today. Um, try and get at least halfway to Brooklyn. Yeah. But it's a lovely day for some boating. Some boating. As luck would have it, there was a marina right next door to the restaurant that we'd been told did have its own shop. That could be. Yeah, that's it, man. This was as good a place as any to get ourselves a much needed boating map. After sorting us out with a laminated local map, the helpful shop owner gave us some boating advice that we really could have done with hearing the day before. What you want to do is once you get out, once you get to the bridge, yeah. the Pompois Bridge, yeah. you just want to go bow to buoy. What just does that mean? Come again? Meaning, meaning <laughs> when you pass one buoy, yeah, yeah. make sure you find the next one and just oh, make sure you point your bow uh, right okay. at that buoy and you'll stay in the channel. You uh, won't have okay. to worry about it. He then told us about a man called Ross who could potentially help us with our engine issues. Ross, nice guy. Yeah. Ross, you know, you, you go in there and ask him and he, he, he might be able to might give us a, yeah, a little bit more info. Okay. Yeah. Well, you've been extremely helpful yeah, as well. well. And thank you for this. Yeah, Absolutely. Thanks very much. Can, uh, buy this. We will pay for it. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Round the corner at the marina office, we attempted to describe our issue to a slightly bemused Ross, a 60 year old veteran of the harbour with a thick Long Island accent. That could, it kicks up the bottom, it sucks all that stuff up, and, you know, all the mud. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Sand and whatever. Right. Into the pump. Oh, uh, does right. it? You know, and if it's been overheating since, and mm, yeah. you didn't have any problem with it overheating before that. Mm. But no, we hadn't had any problems like that. Yeah. It hadn't, didn't seem yeah. to be okay. So it's only after you hit bottom that, that you've had this problem. That's yeah. probably the, yeah, that but is But immediately the after, though? Yeah. Immediately after. Yeah. Which is, oh, it only takes a few seconds. Okay, we'll, we'll go and start it up. We'll go and start it up and then perhaps we'll sort of just pop back, let you know. <laughs> not that yeah. you care, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but maybe you know like in it for you. Some but, more yeah. insights to tell us. <laughs> but the, 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 the Morning. Morning. Hi. What what we need to see now is a constant stream of water coming out from the, the motor yeah. to show that the cooling system is working. Yeah. And if it's sporadic, can, then, yeah. he, that, then his diagnosis is definitely right. Or if it's not coming at all, then we're Then in, turn it off immediately. <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, we've got to try and sell it here, basically, or get um, get Stavros, Stavros <laughs> to, uh, as Greg calls him, to come and pick it up yeah, very yeah. prematurely. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> but we, it could have been the moment when we when we snagged the bottom oh, uh, yeah. back in the bay that, that did that and just damaged the, the pike that was feeding the water. So our quest to get off the the designated channels and explore has would have would, could be our downfall. It could <laughs> man. That's actually a really good point. Right, moment of truth here. We are looking just we're for looking a clear for a jet of piss. For but this time there was complete <laughs> silence. Uh, the lanyard thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Is it up, that it's knob? Up, yeah. yeah, that's fine then. Uh, this is that. The actual, <laughs> the actual <laughs> Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I really 
<laughs> right, do you want to try and start it using the pull, the lever? That is it's dead. That's all <laughs> <That's> the <queen>. total, <laughs> What the yeah. fuck? So basically we've, we've melted it. Do you reckon we we've, just we've, fried it? We've fried it. It's a miracle we've got to this jetty, mate. Mate, do you reckon that's what's happened? Are we forgetting anything? Yeah. Right, that's that. <laughs> What does that do? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Definitely a nuke sort of make treasure. We did eventually manage to get the engine to at least make a sound. There you go, son. But a fully functioning engine certainly felt like a long way off, and the resulting discussions were pretty defeatist. Yeah, the question now is could they come and get it? And how? How so? We'd have to row it round to the marina. The annoying thing is, we've knocked a load of value off it. <laughs> oh, oh, we're pissing out. Tell me that, isn't it? Isn't that a really weird sound, though? Don't think it was making that slurpy sound yesterday. No. Why don't we take a video of that, show it to Ross, yeah. and then. See, yeah. see what he says. I think we've got to go back to Ross. At we'll least get some once. advice, haven't we? Because setting off is a mad option. Yeah. Drastic, yeah. you may say. But also, so is trying to sell it. Yeah. Or, or give it away. Yeah. Um, they're, they're all drastic options at the moment. We just need more intel. Yeah. We just need to be informed by somebody who's in the know. Yeah. Back at the marina office, we were hoping that Ross could deliver that all-important verdict. You can play it again if you want. Yeah, it, it looks like it's pumping enough water, but uh, it sounds like, like maybe it's not running on, on both cylinders. It does sound funny, doesn't it? That's yeah. what we thought. Between slow and fast, it kind of like jumps yeah, a bit. Lurches. Okay. That's okay. So just it could be running on one cylinder at low speed and that's why it's making it hard to start. All right? Maybe, uh -huh. yeah. Because when you're going to start, there's only one cylinder. Right. And then once you get going, it's all right. It kind yeah. of kicks in on the second cylinder. So in that case, we'd be all right to continue. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Um, yeah. The news was not only good, but actually made sense to us. Ross warmed to us somewhat after this. Where are you guys from? England and Wales. Wales, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So quite far we, from We here. used to have a guy that worked here. He was from England. Really? Sherwood Forest. Nottingham. Oh, Nottingham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His ah. accent was so heavy. Yeah. I says, man, we're both speaking English, but I don't know. Fucking thing you're saying at the time. <laughs> that, that's given us more confidence there. Yeah. <laughs> if Captain yeah. Ross says we set off, we set, <laughs> yeah, off. We set off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a try. Yeah. Give it I mean, the try. water's coming out of it, so. Yeah. yeah. So it is popping. Cool. Thanks really for your help, help man. Yeah. Thanks for taking the time out. Yeah. No problem. Thanks, Ross. Cheers. Take care, man. Okay, Ross there um, in his second scene uh, with <laughs> yeah. words of assurance rather than pessimism. And a lot more chirpy there. Yeah, it? yeah. Oh, we're really cracking jokes there. Yeah. Um, okay, so it looks like we're we're gonna brave it. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice day. There'll be plenty of people out on boats who could, worst comes to worst, tow us. Yeah. And yeah. rescue us. We'll let off a flare. We'll let off a flare, <laughs> and uh, Bob's your uncle. Yeah. But that would make great content, wouldn't yeah. it? So, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. I mean, let's give it a go. We did strongly consider sleeping on this boat last night when we'd had a few beers but uh glad we didn't think it would have been a bit nippy for greg at least who hasn't got a sleeping bag or a mat right you're back on board the elizabeth the floundering elizabeth and we're about to we're about to embark again which is pretty daunting i won't lie but it's it is adventurous there's no denying it yeah so, uh, Greg, if you'll please put your life jacket on. <laughs> Checking our flares, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Straight away, man. Nice in neutral. Straight away, it's some tight. Continuous stream. Riding a wave of Ross's words of wisdom, it was time to unshackle Lizzie, who was originally going to be called John West, and embark on the journey's next chapter. Well, we right. are off. We have left the cowfish establishment 
See you later, cowfish. And the sanctity, <laughs> the sanctuary of the uh, jetty. Yeah. And we're out into the waters again. Yeah. Come on, Elizabeth, you can do this. So we are following that that line of boys. Well, we don't need to be that close, but that's the channel, yeah. So we're heading round that headland. Yeah. So I think if we swing right in about now, yeah. we'll miss it, yeah. So Armed with a brand new map and what at least for the time being seemed to be a working engine, we could begin to relax and take in some of the insane properties that lined the Southern Hampton Bays. Yeah, it's a palace, isn't it? Literally a palace. We were finally heading in the right direction and although it was fairly strenuous work battling against the wind, waves and tidal currents, we were making good ground. So much so that after half an hour we were already reaching the final few miles of our map. Before we reached the tricky sections that lay further to the west, we needed to find another marina. Yeah, there's a boat yard up this creek. Here we could give the engine another rest, get some lunch and hopefully buy yet another map. We're going to wing it, we're going to try our luck here. Don't know if we'll be welcome but... We'll hopefully know about boats at least and they have a chart. Not the um, Oh dear. And we're drifting. Um, <laughs> that's a bit calamitous. Oh well, it still works. <laughs> Just go half the speed. <laughs> okay, right. right, we've pulled up on um, a dilapidated old jetty full of crabs, and we think it's someone's private property. Um, Greg is going to go and do what he does best and jog up and speak to some human beings. Um, but let's get it tied up first, shall we? All we needed to do was make peace with whoever's land we'd landed on. So Greg clambered up the jetty, which disappointingly did take his weight, snuck through the spooky looking property and over to the adjacent boatyard for answers. What's the verdict, Greg? So, uh, not a lot to report. It's a small little boatyard. Walked into like several of the workshops, walked up to a house that was part of it, knocked on the door, there was like windows open, said hello. Just nothing, just completely God. dead quiet. But, so um, should we just leave it here then? Yeah, I don't see a problem with leaving it here. Yeah, fuck it. Mate, this, this isn't connected. How is this still here? You're not connected at all? It's not connected at all. I guess it's, it's just, just like, yeah. unable to move. <laughs> so we've basically moored up against something that isn't even <laughs> moored up itself. <laughs> and we're now trespassing on private property. Big time. No. Big time. Which is the number one thing that we decided not to do. And that house is where we're sleeping tonight. Oh, cool. Problem is, if they are on their lunch now and they're here when we get back, that could be an issue. Over time, I've received quite a few emails warning me not to trespass in the States, but I have to say that my first experience was a pleasant one. After a quick bite to eat at a local food joint, what is the verdict on that? That is some poor quality food. Listen, <laughs> that's too loud. And a quick reminder of how lucky we were to have picked these three days for our boating leg, it was time to confuse some more seafaring people in an office. We were wondering if it was possible to, to get hands on a, on a chart if we could purchase one or buy one anywhere around here. On the other side of the canal? Yeah, so, so we got one that goes as far as the, the start, start of the, of the canal. canal. It's like the you know, they might have something up at Haskell's. 
That's what we were told that there was a, a shop, but it's more of a fishing shop. Isn't yeah, it? it's a bait and tackle bait store. Bait massive rock or no <laughs> not rocks, around like, here. No rocks. No, no, no rocks. rocks. Not okay. around. And, and like the currents are pretty okay on the boat. Like yeah. 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 Well, cool. Thanks for your advice, guys. Your journey. Thank helpful. you. Thanks yeah. so much. Have a good day. Bye. We are approaching. Oh, there's already a guy on a bike. Will they let us trespass on their land? And get to our boat. Imagine if they just didn't. You're like, no, you are not yeah. setting foot yeah, yeah, on my land. Yeah, the yeah. boat can stay yeah. there. You're not coming any closer than yeah. where you are now. Or I'm calling the cops. Yeah. There's someone there. Hello. Hello. Hi, man. What's up? How you Sorry doing? to bother you. Yeah, good, thank you. Are you uh, working here? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Um, where are you guys walking from? <laughs> yeah, we're not actually. So we've, we've uh, been on a quest. Just a walkabout. Yeah, no, we've, we've, we've been, been on a quest, quest to, to find a chart because basically we've had to. And we're really sorry if this is the wrong place to pull up, but that dilapidated old jetty. Yeah. Over there, we actually pulled up. We pulled up on there on um, a tiny we, little tin can of a boat. Oh, where are you trying to go? Not only did tanned guy not seem to mind where we'd moored, but he also had a map, something we'd already given up on at this point. We kind of hurriedly. Oh, wow. oh my god! Wait, is that the one we've already got? Oh, so this is the one we've got. Oh, well you can look at this. This one's even fucking better. We came from the cowfish this morning. Oh, did you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so you didn't get that far yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, just started. No, no, no. Yeah. I mean, no, we, we, we're slow. Our boat's slow. Yeah. Our engine. But that's going to be a fun adventure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're okay with us pulling up on that old uh, Where are you? dilapidated oh, jetty? Which one? Blue. Oh, all right. So that is her property, too. Oh, okay. Uh, that's your property. Yeah. If you want to talk to her or meet her, that's the owner, Debbie. Ah, oh, sure. She owns the place. Oh, that's oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. I no, mean, we, 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 we want to go now. We, we, we just, we oh, just want to. Yeah. Just... Thanks, man. See you later. The next leg of our journey would have to be mapless but at least we had permission to get back to the boat. If it would start. Nothing. Nothing. That's interesting. So now. That's promising. Well, that isn't. Oh, that is. yeah, that's great. And just like that, we are off. We're gonna try and do two stints now. One to get us to West Hampton, where we've been told that there's public docking and places to eat and whatnot and then we'll do another stint another big push then out to pastures further yeah we're cooking engine still going lizzie's still floating come on liz come on come on liz the adventure is still in full flow lizzie may have been floating as we headed back out into shinnecock bay but not for very long I don't think so. I'm struggling. Oh shit, I think you are, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, it's all sludgy, look. Fuck, man. Right, man, shall I get out and push us? Probably pushing us for a while. <laughs> I know, but... Well, we, we weren't in it a few seconds ago, no, so we hopefully weren't. it's just a little bank. Once again, even with our map, we'd managed to beach ourselves. <laughs> so yep, we are beached. Um, <laughs> bang my elbow then. Don't worry guys, I love you out of here in no time. I just can't believe in the middle of the sea it's this shallow. You're going shallower, mate. Mate, I literally am on it. After struggling against the wind and the tide for a few minutes, there was finally some progress. Uh, yeah. It is getting deeper. It is getting deeper, now. isn't it? Yeah. Nice. Um, Alright, I think I'll... Yeah, shall I hop in? <laughs> oh. Okay. Fire her up, mate. Yes. To the boy. I think you might be alright now. And the, the tide is only going out. We've still got three hours until the tide is fully out. From this point on, we were hugging boys like Michael Jackson in a children's hospital and we now had even more reason to do so. Well, we are entering the Quogue Canal. Uh, and this is where we run out of map, so should be fun. In the canal, we were able to get right up close and personal with the Hamptons mansions we'd seen glimpses of from afar. Mate, these properties 
All right, Joe. What we could do, mate, if we did pass some friendly looking folk in a garden, yeah. we could pull over and be like, um, just ask them some sort of bullshit question. Like, do you reckon there's a, a marine this yeah, way? Or? Yeah, oh, mate, I'm 100% for that. This idea of passing by houses and chatting to people in the garden and seeing where it might lead, much like we did on Lake Maggiore with Nigel, was one of the main things that had initially excited us about getting a boat. This particular corner of America, however, despite the thousands of bedrooms to go round, was absolutely deserted. We did see one group of wealthy Instagrammy youngsters. Ahoy there! Hello there! The Queen is dead! <laughs> you heard it here! <laughs> but to them, we were just yesterday's news. That is fucking a joke. That is a joke, mate. That's basically a hotel. Accepting that we had zero chance of being invited into someone's house, we set our sights on our next destination. Right, we are leaving the canal and we're back out onto the open waters. Here it is. Full speed ahead, Mr. Wilson. Oh. Oh dear. And we're back to this. Should we let it uh, cool a little bit? Is it hot? Stranded number four. Yeah, check how deep we are, man. We would hit the sound. <laughs> Pretty deep, mate. Can you feel it? No, couldn't um, feel the bottom. And the current was alarming. Um, <laughs> no. After another worryingly long period stranded out in open water, we did finally get Lizzie going again. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, Lizzie. But there were big question marks. Lizzie's floundering. It's very sad. But we're heading into our next marina. Could be the last one, mate. Could be where it retires at this rate. We had reached our 4 p.m. target of Eastport, but the 10 miles over here simply felt too slow and too problematic. Some of those problems were out of our control, others not so much. <laughs> the previous day at Lighthouse Marina, Stavros remarked that getting to Brooklyn on such a boat in two days was very ambitious. I didn't really understand that at the time. A hundred miles is a long way, but in a boat that can do 15 or 20 miles per hour, I didn't really see the issue. Having battled the waves, the wind and the tide for a grand total of 30 miles, I now knew exactly what he was talking about. This flat-bottomed boat just isn't made for long journeys. And that's before you even consider the engine issues. Anyway, hopefully this will be a good little stop here. Charge yeah. our phones, get some more grub. Yeah. Get the oil back. <laughs> get the oil back eventually. Is this the only bar near here? Yeah. Really? Uh, okay, cool, thanks. This has been a misfire then. <laughs> <laughs> This has been a waste of time, so... That is easy to get. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Behind the ridiculously fancy restaurant that we'd just burdened the boat with was a marina. Within the grounds of this marina was a taco stand co-ran by a lovely lady called Athena. We're my little town right here. Just kind of a passerby town. You pass by to go to the Hamptons. <laughs> she instantly took a liking to us, thanks in part to her Liverpudlian nan, and told us that we could sit at her tables for as long as we needed, and even let us hotspot her phone for some much needed Wi Fi. After a few minutes of looking at the map, though, the prospect of continuing was well and truly up for debate. What's the time? It's 20 past four. I think if it's that distance again, any further, and it's a big no-no. Yeah, and what we don't want to do is get stuck and stranded. Yeah. 
in the in that massive bay. That's what I mean, man. That's the more concerning That's thing. The, yeah. It is far. We it? would come like here maybe and be and feel pretty good, but and even then it's massive. The engine would cut but out. That would be just that's enormous yeah. piece of and then doing that like as it's approaching dark is with an engine that ain't <laughs> too reliable. Well, we're a bit worried that if it's getting dark and plus if the engine's dying a bit, Which it we don't, we don't want to be like drifting basically out in a massive bay yeah. and it's getting dark. I mean, it'd be like the worst case scenario. And we want to get pissed. So yeah, yeah, like, and we want to uh, go yeah, out. Yeah. It's a Friday night. <laughs> exactly. so. It was true that me and Greg had developed a taste for a few beers after such a turbulent and taxing week. But the fact of the matter was, there were far more fundamental factors at play, such as distance and safety. If Elizabeth really was going to retire here, though, what the hell do we do with her? She was currently moored uninvitedly at a posh restaurant, and we had no idea how to get her out the water, even if we wanted to. Mate, but we can always text, um, Stravos. If we manage to wrangle something here that we, we felt to sell it, sell it. Well, here or with Stravos flat, flatly. Um, but then, how would? When would he get? It? He'd have to come tomorrow. The only viable options we could think of were to call Stavros or try and flog the boat to the owner of this marina. And from what Athena had already told us, he was an absolute prick. We tested out that theory. Excuse me, are you busy? Am I busy? You look quite busy. Yeah, you look quite busy. How yeah. can I help you? Well, and the results were in. Even for a good try? No. Okay. <laughs> That's a resounding no. That is the biggest resounding no yeah. I have ever, ever seen. That is a big, big hard nose there. <laughs> <laughs> Our hopes, it seems, rested firmly with the one that slightly dyslexic Greg called Stravos. Hi Stavros, how you doing? We're in Eastport, not very far from you guys. <laughs> Nine miles. <laughs> Can't believe that. Six miles. Any chance one of your men could pick us up this afternoon? Pick it, pick it up this and afternoon. Us, to be and us, <laughs> fuck it. Take me back to you, you hunk. <laughs> nah. Take you back to John. Yeah, which one, mate? No. <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at. Is it is it bad, viewers, that we're giving up this easy? We're not giving. Well, the boat's just. Fucked, I mean, man. the boat is. It's hard extremely work. Extremely temperamental. We, what would we do tomorrow? Twenty miles tomorrow. We're meant to be and in then, New York tonight, so tomorrow yeah. we need to be there for the afternoon, really earliest. We've run out of time, and <laughs> words by the looks of it. <laughs> <laughs> With neither of our phones able to muster up a single bar of signal, we had to use Athena's to try and call Stavros, but there was no answer there or at the lighthouse. Please leave your message for six. It's phone off. Potentially. Try it again, I might be on Stavros's brief period of silence forced me into some pretty desperate contingency plans. What we could do, mate, yeah. is just leave it, you leave it there. Go to Pogotch tonight, or whatever it's called. Patchog. Patchog. <laughs> as bad as you. And then just get, just say to Stav, look, it's there. If you want it, just get it and send us the money. And even had me questioning his intentions altogether. It's just occurred to me, though, that, like, you know, we've paid them 900 quid, and, like, under the premise that they buy it back, but, like, what if they're just like, huh, see ya, like, yeah. We sold that engine that we were trying to get rid of, which doesn't work. Yeah, I yeah no, I don't think that I, I don't think they were ever disingenuous in their intention. <laughs> like, no, I'm sure you're not, guys. But <laughs> the thought like the, the, as the minutes roll by and there's no <laughs> reply, the yeah, thought is the, crossing our mind. We um, really texted them 40 minutes ago. Mate, I am, I am rocking. <laughs> Honestly, mate, when I put my ass cheeks on this seat, yeah, it's trippy. It's it's like actually when you um. When you're pissed, yeah, and the room starts spinning, it's kind of like that a bit. Despite their dizziness, though, our brains had no choice but to keep working on a solution to our increasingly hopeless situation. Let's put a shout out to subscribers in who the wants area this boat? who might want the boat, or even be willing to look after it and sell it, like for yeah. you basically yeah 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 that is a shout isn't it <sighs> the thing is 
you ruined the, the storyline, man. If you put that post in public no, what on I'm YouTube. Think, no, I'm not thinking that. Oh, I think we contacted people, in... people f that we we saw from Long Island that we uh, okay. directly. Uh, we could even go there now, chart and look through the emails now and try and send them to Or we could go in there, yeah. have a beer, use their Wi Fi yeah, and charge and our look, phones in there. And look at the um and look at the options. We are so intelligent. <laughs> For a while, we sat in the restaurant feeling incredibly out of place, not even able to access our phones, which were being reluctantly charged behind the bar, hoping that these overpriced beers could somehow cure the now nauseating rocking sensation. Yeah, we've only been like 30 miles, man, and I'm rocking. God knows how people must feel like actual sailors have been out for like weeks. Yeah, but yeah, the people who circumnavigate the, <laughs> the globe. Right? Among the experienced and competent female staff that buzzed about the restaurant lurked a young Hispanic trainee waiter. I'd already witnessed him receive a bollocking for dropping a butter smeared knife on the floor, but such was our desperation at this point. I decided to tell him our situation just in case he held the key. But but now we need to sell this boat, so yeah. His response floored us. I don't suppose you or anyone you know would be interested in taking the boat off us for a, for a really... I am. <laughs> really? Yeah, well, how much are you selling it? Mate, cheap. Really cheap. Mate. I mean, it's worth, we paid uh, $1,700. We'd be willing to let it go for like 500. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 5,000 yeah. you're saying? You're saying no, no, 500. 500,000 okay. 500, or $500? Just dollars. Just dollars. Just dollars, yeah. Shit, I might be able to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. Really? We, 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 Serious? Uh, yeah. We, yeah. I mean, I'll talk to my dad. Have a think about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We do need to get rid of we it. Need so to, we need, we, you, yeah. You'd be like a savior if you yeah, could buy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you'd be like a hero in, in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, What's your name, by the way, man? Uh, Fernando. Fernando. Mate, who would have thought it? Mate, that would be ridiculous. <laughs> it's just so crazy because, like, all the high up people in the restaurant, like the owner, they yeah. don't give a shit yeah. about our little yeah. tin yeah. can boat. Yeah. Couldn't give a damn about Couldn't it. give a damn, but like the, the lowliest kind of dog's body, no <laughs> offense, of the whole thing that the guy who's youngest. just started, youngest, probably poorest yeah. guy yeah. here, yeah. you know, but loveliest. Yeah. Loveliest. Loveliest kid. He's the one who's gonna bring it home. Yeah, and, you know. be a hero. Yeah. As Greg and I sipped sparingly at our beers, Fernando regularly stopped by to excitedly discuss details. Do you have the papers of the boat, or? No, there's no, no it's not no, registered because it's so small. But we were keen not to distract him too much from his already tenuously held job. We do need to try our best to not let the owners know that we're striking up a deal, almost. Yeah. Because like it looks like we've just come in, bought a beer, and just like gone, oi, come over here, mate, <laughs> and just <laughs> serving a boat to him. 11.30? 11.30. 11.30, yeah, 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 that's fine. That's yeah, okay yeah, for us, fine. yeah. If you can tell your dad, if he's a man of his word, <laughs> we will be yeah. there at half 11. Yeah. 11.30? So, so if he's, like, we will be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, 11.30. So, as it stands, um, we are meeting his dad, don't know his name, don't know anything about him, on the dot at half 11 tomorrow, <laughs> um, down on that dock, which the boat is semi unwelcome. I was going to say, we actually go check if that's... Oh, fuck that. No, 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 check it, it's just tied up. Oh, tied up, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I thought you meant check with the owner. No, fuck that. <laughs> Me and Greg are going out on the Raz. We're going to try and get a lift with Athena, <laughs> stay in a cheap motel, get back here for half 11. The only thing that could go wrong with this plan, mate, is if it doesn't start for toffee <laughs> in the morning, <laughs> which is very possible, isn't it? But we've got the knack. We no, can be like, no, no, give it here, man. Yeah. Fucking hell, you don't know what you're doing, do you? <laughs> like the boat that we were in at the start, literally. <laughs> You're a hero, Fernando, put it there. <laughs> Hope you don't get in trouble with your boss. <laughs> nah, I don't think so, but if I do, I mean, I'm getting a boat, so. Yeah. <laughs> good answer, mate, good very answer. good answer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We thought maybe you were the owner, but uh, no. we're wrong. Yeah, yeah, we're... <laughs> oh, okay, okay. There was but... a certain gravitas about you that we thought you were the owner. <laughs> no, not at all, I just like everybody to be happy. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Having sufficiently buttered up the manager with our charm and a generous tip, 
we had one last request to carry out for Fernando, who was itching to see the boat in the flesh. What do you think, man? Is it all right? I find it beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it is beautiful, yeah, isn't it's it? It's a lovely boat. Yeah. It's, its name is Elizabeth, Elizabeth, after the queen who died. Oh, yeah. But um, I'll keep the name. Yeah, 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 good, good. We really don't want you to get in trouble with your boss. Yeah, so, so I'll just take a few pictures. Yeah, yeah sure, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll get that. All right. All right, man. See you, guys. See man, Thank care. you so much. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye, bye. 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 Let's skip in the <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Greg. I cannot believe how fast you ran. <laughs>
and Greg and I now had an unstoppable appetite to paint the town, a town that I was yet to pronounce correctly, a deep shade of red. We had to get there first though. Right, right we here's the situation, it's 9.06. In the train and in a minute. <laughs> the train is literally in, well, well 30 yes. seconds. Well, 30 about seconds. 20 30 now. seconds, I would say. Oh, sorry guys. Breaking and backing up it's because there. it's right there. Yep. Oh, and there it is. <laughs> Wait. Oh, shit. Sorry, I tried to open the door. Oh, oh my god. god. Okay, and if it leaves, I'm gonna drive you to Patrick, so oh let's go. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. We ain't getting a ticket okay. through that way. You guys are good. Go, go. go oh go, my go. god. Oh my god. Nice meeting you guys. Thank you. Thank go, you. Go, oh go, god, go. Go, go. Oh god. No, no, it's closing. It's closing. It's <laughs> Shit. Thank you. No, it's going. <laughs> oh it's gone. shit! It's gone. Okay, never mind. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, we may have missed the last train in what would ordinarily be devastating fashion, but for the three of us, it didn't really matter. I will yeah. say, as much as you guys are here for adventure, I'm in a period of time in my life yeah. where I need adventure. So yeah. this, I understand. Is, this is fun for me. Can we just blast the Beatles yes. the whole way? I mean, I just... Uh, yes. Get a night. I want me hold your hand. Yes, Greg. Do you believe in love and love? Greg's off his tits. Once Greg had calmed down a bit, it was time to get Nan on the blower. Hi, Grandma. Hi, what's up? Hey. Mom said for me to call you. Because I met these guys, I'm actually giving them a ride, and they're from Birmingham, England. Really? In the UK, and I was telling them all about you. <laughs> we've we've heard yeah. many stories. We've heard many very <laughs> nice stories. About you, about Paul, you worked in the cavern. Oh, no. I met no, these I guys. The what? Where'd you work? I went I went to the cabin. I didn't work. Oh, there. she went. Sorry guys. But oh. what what happened with Paul? I danced with the, 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 the yeah. I don't Did, think it was Paul. Oh, it was Ringo oh. Starr. Oh, we've Ringo been Starr. we've been conned here. Yeah. I've been conned. That particular story may have been embellished slightly over the years, but it didn't take anything away from a thoroughly enjoyable time with Athena, who in a way risked her life just so that we could get pissed in Patchog. I hope you guys have the best time and get absolutely hammered tonight. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, home. don't say that. Bye, guys. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. Bye. 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 Or as we say in Birmingham, ta a bit. Ta-ra. ta ra ta ra ta ra ta Oh, that was great. <laughs> Mate, have we booked this, by the way? No. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. One night. One yeah. night. That's okay. Please, please. Uh, how much is it? One forty. One forty. Is for, it really? For two. Two. Just for a small room. No, it's one big king bed. King bed. Uh, Can you do one hundred? One hundred. That's one bed. Nothing. Hundred and ten. Hundred and ten. Eh? Hundred and forty. King bed. <laughs> That's the lowest you can do. Yeah, small bed is one twenty-five. No, no, we can't do that. No. Yeah. Um, okay then. Bye. Okay. Oh. No, 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 it's, no, no, it's okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> ID. Yeah. Oh, I need a piss. <laughs> Cops just turned up. Um. No, not cute. Hi. How you doing? Oh, Hi, good, man. thank you. I'm glad you've turned up, officer, because we've, we've been fleeced. <laughs> no. After parting with more pointless pennies, we headed into our run-of-the-mill room and over a change of clothes, reflected on what was another hectic day. What was the lowest point for you? After, after like the guys in Lighthouse Marina weren't replying, yeah, and we just sat there without a plan at True. all. True. We'd already coughed up $200 just to be here, and it was finally time to see if it would all be worth it. That is... Where are we? Patchcog. Patchquog. Patchquog. <laughs> Cohog Pat. Co Patch. <laughs> Hitting a few smaller bars first, it wasn't long before we ended up in this place, where the inescapable and inexplicably large vodka measurements were promptly forcing their way into our bloodstream. As predicted, though, the music was garbage. So we split for the smoking area 
where we met this group of reprobates. The queen is that I know it means a lot to these guys and oh, it's a go, lot, means a lot to everybody. I know the queen's been around for a while. Well, no, fuck the queen. No, right. <laughs> cut. <laughs> cut. So I know that I know the queen died. Like everyone's super upset. We're in Long Island, New York, and we feel the pain of everyone in England. But deep down, fuck the queen. This has gone downhill. But we feel the pain of the England. That doesn't mean anything. We feel the pain of the blokes. Can we ask oh, fuck the queen. Do we have a serious yeah. answer? Dude, let me know. Give me a three, two, one countdown. Sign up. Three, two, two one, go. go. So the queen passed away, and it's just an absolute. Dude. Fuck the queen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm ready. Now, ready. Three, two, one. Action. Go ahead, ask one Come on. You guys dead. Yeah, ask me a question. So I can answer. Sorry, sorry. Okay. 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 Yeah. How do you feel about the Queen's passing? We thought we knew what was coming, but we were pleasantly surprised. Great lady, amazing. But you know what we gotta say? Coys, baby, coys all day. Harry Kane, Sonny, baby. We're yeah. coming from Champions League. Richarlison, baby. Dyer the man, baby. Davis is coming, baby. Dyer is coming. And you know Sonny's coming, baby. Right out of Korea. Turns out these guys were lovers of the Premier League, and in particular Spurs and were absolutely adamant that we spend the following day with them rotting away on the sofa to Premier League fixtures. Love to hang out with you guys tomorrow. By the time we'd finished our meaningful conversations outside, we were drunk enough to actually tolerate the reprehensibly unimaginative rehashes of old pop songs. And boisterous partying ensued. At one point, Mert, the guy who loves the Queen, took the GoPro and decided to start filming random revelers. And this is the exact moment that he completely drained the battery. And that's unfortunate because something happened later that night, long after we'd lost the Yid army, that would have been good to capture on film. We basically got accosted by the police, well I did, for, for urinating at the back of a nightclub. And I mean three police cars pulled up. Yeah, we, we were swooped. We were, we, we, we were swooped. Anyway, these two pink slips here are our arrest warrants. Um, we're, we're due in court on the 17th of November 2022. However, do not fear. The police officers made it very clear to us that it was all a formality. It was all baloney. It was all baloney and that, you know, because we respected them, apparently it's not going to ever come into play. So, there you go. It's all right if you just go and sell this boat, mate. <laughs> I stay here for another cheap night. In the morning, a rather croaky and debilitated Greg and I mused over what had to be our most gratuitous guzzlefest to date. To be honest, mate, that is really not what we had in mind for a night out, is it? No. It's an experience. Yeah. I mean, I could do without this hangover. <laughs> as tempting as a day of Premier League football and pizza was, we had to get moving. Right, I've had a text from um, the sprinter. <laughs> Hey Tom, how's your day? I have a question. Does the boat come with a trailer? Or what? No. Um, <laughs> oh, he's saying he's unable to take it to their house without a trailer. I'm sure the marina over the head would bring that round. Yeah. But we haven't been able to get through to them. Even in our half-soaked states, we were already getting the sense that more work might need to be done. Just message Stavros and it's gone through just saying like any chance you could one of your boys could bring the trailer down don't have high hopes seeing as you did text him yesterday yeah what shall I say to him then mate make it sound like a far more appealing deal it's got all the equipment in it life jackets oars air horns flares all of the safety and boating equipment you can it's it's there for you as well for the same price you're sure it's not worth you getting a trailer 
But before I could even type the message out... Not great news, mate, but Fernando has quite abruptly kind of cut contact. shut us off. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? The tone sounds worse than it probably is, but he's like, it's all good, nice meeting you, and hope that Elizabeth finds an owner soon. Have a good trip, guys. And then he said, sorry, guys, we don't have a trailer. Have a good day. Oh. Oh, I did have a thought, though. What? In the shower. Why don't we get in contact with that sort of quite stern marina boss that we spoke to yesterday? Yeah. And say, they bounce our trailers like that. We'll rent a trailer off you like an hour. I mean, it's literally down the road to their place. But moments later... Oh, mate. What? Just as I say that... He's replied... Stavros has replied, OK, let me see if I can send someone. Can you give me the address? It may have been out of pity, or he may just have been genuinely busy the whole time, but Stavros was finally coming to the rescue. Elizabeth would be saved, we'd get some money back for her, and we could receive Fernando's damning last text with a smile. It's interesting, I asked Stavros, uh, I asked uh, Fernando, Yeah. you know, just out of interest, if we can get this trailer, would you still be interested? And he said, no. <laughs> so you were right by saying he was a bit green around the <laughs> He really is, isn't he? <laughs> well, if you're watching Fernando, don't worry about it, man. You gave us a, plenty of entertainment. Yeah, one of the best laughs I've had in the last decade. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. And a good chapter in this story, so... Yeah. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Thanks, mate. Thanks, Pappy. Oh. I tell him if we can have half an hour. Hello? Check out time is 11. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> All right, cheers. Come on. It's, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this oh. is a hot day, mate. It's hot. I think we're going to struggle today to, yeah, kind of. To the speak end. by the looks of it. Well, mate, what the hell are we doing? Sit under that tree. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get some food, I think. After inexplicably opting to order leaves for lunch, struggling with this, we got the green light from Stavros. Shit. Stavros is going to have a guy there in an hour. Shit. Better get our skates on. So in the Uber, we sat in complete silence, trying our best not to throw up or think about the hundreds of pointless dollars we'd parted with in the past 12 hours. We were also unsure how we were actually going to get the boat out of the water. I certainly didn't fancy asking this guy if we could use his ramp, or at least not in my current state. Back at the restaurant, though, our worries were soon eased by the relaxed demeanour of Stavros's most recently deployed hunk, Will. After quickly pointing out the public boat ramp yards from the restaurant, Will listened to a very short version of our already brief time on the water. You're basically our saviour, though. You are our saviour, Will. Yeah. And cooked up a little plan. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll back the trailer down into the ramp. Yeah. And then you just try to drive on as straight as you can. Do you want to do it with me, Greg, or...? Uh, I'll film you, mate, from here, I think. Oh, for... <laughs> so, as if I wasn't already nauseous, enough it was back onto the waves once more feeling good after last night down there Tom far from it but in order to crash we'd need the engine to start something that in our hungover haze we'd forgotten quite rarely happened yeah that happens a lot really? oh yeah luckily will knew all the tricks in the book and we were soon up and running. Right then, Captain, last run. <laughs> Once I'd managed to divorce myself from the wall, I'm off to Brooklyn! <laughs> it was around the jetty for a predictably ham fisted retiral. Ahoy! This is the moment. Have you mastered it? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, nice. Beautiful. Lovely job. 
And there you have it. Lizzie's leaving the water. It's quite a sad moment, actually. I thought she was dead in the water, but... Yeah. <laughs> Back on solid land, Will provided us with one last twist in our already farcical maritime story. We've just been told by Will, it is Will, isn't it? Yeah, sir. That this, these waters are infested with sharks, is that yeah, right? Particularly yeah. this summer. Right? This summer, yeah, it's been a very strange year. We, the, the sharks have been coming close to shore and there's been numerous fightings and <laughs> sightings. And, you know, it did cross my mind when I was pushing the boat uh, in the middle of the yeah. bay there. We thought the worst thing would be a jellyfish, but... Yeah. Happy at least that we hadn't been the latest victim of a great white attack, it was time to pay one final visit to our closest companion yet. Hello, hello, hello. Hello there, darling. <laughs> you right? Wow, I didn't expect to see you guys. We had assured Athena that we would reimburse her with nothing short of a full Uber fare for her incredibly generous lift the night before, before saying our final goodbyes. And we are off. We're next off. chapter. The next saga begins. Sad to leave that chapter behind, right? It is. What a great memory we'll yeah. have of this place. I know. Apart from it this really bald will. git over here. <laughs> no, he's over there. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> the prick. Yeah. Oh. Bale! Oh. <laughs> but what was the next chapter exactly? If you don't mind dropping us there, and then... No, wherever you want to yeah, go. Yeah, that's man. great. Because then, well, Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> well, if we're going off the original plan, We'd have been cruising into the back end of Brooklyn that day. The stubby nature of our boating leg didn't feel too devastating, but the damage we'd done to our organs definitely did. And in the state we were in, getting to Brooklyn from this quiet, far away village in any other way than by train felt like it might be asking a bit much of ourselves. So, after accepting Stavros's $300 for the boat, that's what we decided to do. Farewell, Elizabeth. We've had to say goodbye to two Elizabeths, haven't we, over the last we couple have. of days? We have. It's taking its toll, it really is. <laughs> it's a bit emotional, mate. I'm not kidding. It really is, isn't it? I mean, it is going to come back yeah. and turn around, but. <laughs> With two hours until our train, we decided to scout out the local area just in case. We weren't expecting to find anything other than a hangover cure in this quiet, bougie coffee shop, but very quickly it became apparent that the man who ran it was by far and wide the most friendly, accommodating and downright positive person, let alone business owner, we'd ever met. After sorting us out with a stomach-soothing, sparkling probiotic drink, he went to great lengths to assure us that if we needed anything, anything at all that we should let him know. He then inquired about where we were heading and said that Brooklyn was his realm and that should we need anything at all in Brooklyn, that he was our man. Seriously, anything at all, he repeated. So, I popped the question. I mean, you could drive us to New York. <laughs> <laughs> and with that damning response, we accepted our fate and jumped on the train. The truth is, we didn't have a clue what this first leg of the journey would look like before we set off. The optimistic side of us pictured crashing garden parties in the Hamptons, covering a hundred miles with ease and rocking up at Brooklyn to sell the boat to a wise guy called Paulie. The pessimistic side of us doubted we'd even get on the water. In the end, what we achieved was somewhere in the middle, but closer to our pipe dream. It had freedom, friendly people, funny stories and plenty of sticky situations. Yeah, we may not have got very far and we may have spent an unholy amount of money getting there, but we enjoyed every second. And that's a theme that you can expect to continue for pretty much the entirety of this series. So don't you go anywhere. West Philadelphia to shoot some basketball hoops. Yes, yes. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We are in Mountville, this random town <laughs> we've selected on the map. Josh and I will both uh, take you down to Frederick when we're off at five. Yeah, I would have to say 27 as well. 27. All right, you guys are American. We're in. Is it right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> you want to do it? You want to do it? Oh.